All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today I'm going to be talking about academics. Disrespecting Kendrick and taking what he said out of context on a song just to prove a point. Um, I don't know why he would do that. And it's very disrespectful. And I'm going to get into that. Before I get into it, you know this is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a con, leave a donation. Links in the screen, Cash App, PayPal's in the description. Thank y'all for all the donations. I got some more donations today. Thank y'all. I don't want to say people's name on here because I don't know how people will feel about their name but put out there. So I'm just going to leave it as, as it is and say thank you. Y'all know who y'all are. I really appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? So uh, also they called me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to about to be 12,000, a million by Monday morning. Let me know where you're from too. So before we get into that, I'm saying, I just want to say thank y'all again. So we're going to get into this clip, man, and uh, we'll be back to discuss. <laughs> All right, this comes courtesy of Top 5 Troy. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go subscribe to him. I will put his link in the description and all that good stuff. But yeah, man, let's get to it. I know some of you watch are not surprised. You're like, well, this is who Academic is. I never saw Academics like that. Like I said before, he usually can make fair points. Even when he has bias, this is why he's popular for his analysis. I don't know what he's doing here. He is way too hurt over this Kendrick and Drake okay. beef. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is a song where he, like, I guess his family thought somebody stuck their finger up his booty hole or something. I'm like, what the fuck? Yo, this, this is this. All right. Again, we got to talk to these dumb, dumb, dumb niggas. I'm trying not to curse too much. I'm trying not to call people this too much because I don't want to get demonetized and all that good stuff. So I'm going to try to keep it aggressive, but not cursing. That makes sense. Anyway. Um, yeah, this is disrespectful on so many levels. And I think a lot of these dudes don't get it until they get, until somebody approached them. So you're saying that this man got a finger stuck up his butt, but he never said that. So the only reason why you are saying this it's because you want to run with the narrative that Kendrick was touched on or something happened to him when he was a kid because you need a narrative com to combat or even side with what Drake is saying to combat what Kendrick said about Drake. That's all you're doing this for. What cracks me up is a lot of you dudes, y'all act as if y'all are the one battling Kendrick. Using words like, yeah, we gonna get you back. It's us out here. It's like, come on, bro. This is crazy. This is the ADM show. I don't know if I said that. You know what I'm saying? But let's go. Respectful, though. This is, because this is a real record about, you know, actual trauma that people been through. So to, to play with it like this is, this is wild disrespectful. Like, like, you know, what the fuck going on in here? I remember looking in the mirror, knowing I was gifted. Only child, me for seven years, everything was for Christmas. Family ties, they accused my cousin. Did he touch you, Kendrick? Never lied, but no one believed me when I said he didn't. Yo, Kendrick's still really traumatized by that nigga, like, finger-fucking him. Like, this shit... You know what I mean? This is disgusting, man. This is exactly why I see why people don't fuck... Why people don't mess with act. This is exactly why I see... Why people feel as though he is where he's at today. People like him, and again, Aiden Ross, and again, all of these streamers who got a little bit of change, they should not be where they're at. I'm telling you, because they don't represent the culture at all. These dudes are self-centered and they're about, them, about themselves. These are, are activists who are actively going against people they don't like or people that make their their artists feel some type of way this is what he does 
you saying something like that is so disrespectful to people who actually been touched on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think some of these dudes are so tone deaf, they don't realize some of the things that they say and do as if like, as if like whatever they say to their audience is going to be okay with it. And I think some of the audience be like, yo, dog, you out of pocket. But see, he don't care because, again, there's no consequences for him doing this. Now, again, I'm not suggesting that something happens to the man or he gets hands put on him. I'm just saying there's no conf no consequence. And this is the reason why people do stuff like this. This is the reason why. See, before, you couldn't do this. You couldn't say to all these things. But it's so it's, it's so open and free for people to say what they want to say and even if they're being disrespectful they could say whatever they want to say and he only being this aggressive because what kendrick did to drake that's it that's the only reason why okay yeah it, it's not funny anymore the the whole his read of this interview again like i said i can get with some things but i can't get with this crazy Dude, what's going on right now this is, this is bananas. Yo, Kendrick, you grown now. You got to slide on that nigga. Fuck that. If that nigga finger fucked you, bro, fuck that, man. Then you need a big... Where does it say he got fingered in this verse? He literally... He stepped over to his crib and slapped the shit out of that nigga. Like, what the hell? Frozen moments still holding on to it. I had to trust myself. I saw rhyming. Oh, okay. So he saw rhyming because his homie fingered him. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I mean... You see... And this is the thing. Not one time did Kendrick say anything like that in that song. But see, this is peep. This is the this is the doing of his. He wants to push a narrative. I don't understand how. And I and I'm telling you, you could never be forgiven for this. You could never be forgiven for this. You could say you were trolling, you could say whatever you want, but you could never be forgiven for this. My thing is, just be a fucking journalist. Why do y'all always have to troll? Why do all y'all have to troll? For what? You already successful. You already made. Why do you need to troll? You, you, there's so many different topics you could be talking about. Even if it's in the scope of Kendrick, there's so many different topics you could be talking about. You can actually break down what the song really means, but you taking a twist on it, a narrative and trying to push a narrative against the man. So you could say, see, look, see, this is the reason why he's the way he is. And this is the reason why he said this about Drake. And it's like, everything relates back to Drake because you guys out here are extremely, extremely obsessed with this dude, Drake. I don't know why I have no clue why y'all obsessed with Drake. No clue. I don't know what it is about this guy. I have no clue. But you guys act like he love bombed y'all or something. I don't know why y'all act this way when it comes to Drake. Y'all defend his honor like y'all his husband or something. It's so crazy to me. So there's no way that academics is this touched over the Kendrick and Drake beef that now he will, I can get making the little snide jabs at Kendrick because, you know, Drake is your bestie or whatever. But there's no way that he's still this touched over that beef to where he's going to this length. This is gross. And I know some of you watching are, are not surprised. You're like, well, this is who Academic is. I never saw Academics like that. Like I said before, when he he usually can make fair points even when he has bias, this is why he's popular for his analysis. I don't know what he's doing here. He is way too hurt over this Kendrick and Drake beef. Like these are the stages of grief. Ack, why why are you still here in the beginning? This is the beginning, this is the end. Why are you still right here? Yeah, I don't understand that either. The stages of grief, people don't understand is five stages. And I'm thinking that academics is stuck between the first two all of his fans drake fans are stuck between the first two you know what i'm saying i'm thinking that none of them got to the last one none of them got to the last one at least the ones that i'm talking about they're stuck between the first two 
maybe three, but they didn't get to the last one. It is so crazy because the two after that is even just as bad as the first two. Or well, not just as bad, but, you know. Bro, it was almost six months ago that this beef ended. You should not still be here making snide jokes about sexual assault and all of this. And even miss under you're reading the lyrics. There's there's nothing here that says he was sexually assaulted. But even if it did say that, making a snide jokes about it because he beat your favorite rapper in, in a battle of the songs. This is and another thing too. This is why academics and the rest of these dudes, they will always stay at the level they're at. They will never go beyond this. You could be a millionaire and stay at this level. That's fine. But the thing is, if he wanted to succeed and go into, let's say, politics or go into somewhere else in a different realm, they will always refer back to all the stuff he was saying. These things here. I know I get on here and I say some things, but I don't play around with abuse. That's one thing you don't play with because trauma and abuse you can't play with people's trauma and their abuse. You can't. I don't care if I don't like, if I didn't like Drake, you know what I'm saying? If he was abused as a child, I'm not making fun of that. I'm not. Because that can cause him to do what he do. The same thing with, with Kells. I'm not excusing what Kells did, but he was abused as a child. So you got to take that in consideration that messes with your mentality. A lot of these dudes, they don't want to admit that. But see, he is playing with people's trauma. He's playing around and that's not funny. It's not cool and it's not funny. You got to coping mechanisms. I start rhyming. Wait, is a reason we have hip hop Jesus because his cousin fingered his butthole? Yeah, that's crazy. It's kind of like a fire story, too, though, right? This is wild, disrespectful. Yeah, after, after I fingered my butthole, the only way I could express myself is just rap words that rhymed over like a beat. Beating up my fucking anus. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what's going on. God damn it. I don't know. Damn. See, sometimes you got sometimes you got to quit while you ahead. See, jokes like this, and even if he's saying it's a joke, there's people that's laughing about it. So you could say it's a joke. Oh, I was just playing, bro. No, you wasn't. I know that didn't happen. Whether you say you was playing or not, there are people who take this serious. And guess what? There's people who didn't even hear the song and it's going to automatically spread that. Yeah, man, can't you got, he got in his butt, bro. That's why he acted like that. That's why he took, like, because people try to piece things together that really don't need to be pieced together. The reason why he said that about Drake is because he was touched on. So that's why. Because you got to think about it, right? Think about it like this. Drake, Drake like good little girls because Kendrick was touched on. So since he was touched on, Kendrick brought it up and it, and it, it related to Drake. And then Drake, he started doing what he do. So you got to blame Kendrick for it. You can't blame Drake. You got to blame Kendrick because, because, um, because Kendrick, he opened those wounds. He opened them wounds back up, bro. That's what it was. So what's Kendrick for? I, I blame Kendrick, bro. That's a fire. Whatever is in your cup, it's time to put it down. Whatever you sipping on, it's time to put it down. Story still. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is a fire ass story. My boy said he got fingered in and he started rapping. I like that. You know why? That's vote. You know these rappers be like, yo, 50 stories like, yeah, I got shot nine times, I couldn't move, like, yo, I got shot through my mouth, my Kanye, like, my mouth was wired shut, I just came from an accident. Kendrick's story is, yo, that nigga figured my butt. I ain't know how to tell nobody, so I, so the only time I could really talk about it is when the beat was popping and I had a rap in my mind. I swear, I like that. I think that's fire. I think that's fire, bro. That's a fire-ass rap story. I hate hearing the story. You see what I mean? Again. 
He never said that. And I know, and here's the thing. I, I, I can almost guarantee you that this is just something he's doing just as a, like a litmus test to see who would actually report on it. And then he come out and say, I only did that just to show y'all that people take everything serious. My thing is, if that was the case, then you have to realize that there's a lot of dumb people out there who will take everything you say literal. And they will attach that to Kendrick. So even if you do come out and say that in the future, you still wrong because as a, as a content creator and as a, 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 a influencer, you are supposed to have some type of level of, of uh, responsibility to providing some type of uh, realism to people. You're not doing that. You're spreading propaganda, which, which essentially is going to come back and bite you. Because people are going to say they heard it from you. And what happens when people find out it's not true, now you look like the fool. Now, you might not care. You might like to be infamous. You might not want to be famous. You might want to be one of those guys who are, who's the bad guy who don't care. You might not care. But this is what I mean by characters like academics are tone deaf. They don't care about nothing but whatever they want to talk about. Because there's so much he could take from this from this, and he can actually provide a service for people who have been touched on or who are being touched on. He could literally come out and say, you know what? Let's read what Kendrick said in this song, because I think this song is very important. And whoever's whoever's been going through something like this, let's see if we can break decipher what he's actually saying. But instead, you flip it and say that he's been touched on, even though he never said that in the song. He actually re reinforced that he wasn't and you are still lying on him saying he did because you want to prove a point by saying, well, he did that because I'm doing this because he did that to Drake. That's what you're doing. And I can almost guarantee you that's exactly what you're doing. So when did you start rapping? Yeah, I killed five niggas. I did like a three year. No, I killed five niggas. I did a 10 year bid. Now I'm ready to rap. Heard that too many times. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. I killed three niggas in the hood, but I beat it self-defense, so I had to just rap my story. What you don't understand is these people who are who have these like stories. Oh yeah, why'd you start rapping? Oh yeah, because I shot a dude. I went to jail. A lot of those people have probably been have we'll just say have traumas that they haven't unveiled yet, or may never unveil. And it's Kendrick unveiling this in a, in a song, willingly, so that others may feel comfortable letting in what. They may have gone through go as well. So again, uh, academics understands this. He's not dumb, but he's. I think he's really dumb for for doing this. This is too much, bro. This is too much. We ain't hear no story like this, nigga. We ain't hear no story like this. Yeah, I was getting finger popped by my brother. Like he was just like up in there, just up in there, in and out type shit. Keep it real. Shit, the way he was doing it, like I was speechless. The only time I could really talk was when I got in the booth, cause like he was in my booth. Pause. Okay, I fuck with it. I like that story. I like it. And obviously, Kendrick doesn't say this anywhere in the verse. Yeah, he obviously doesn't. But again, academics reinforcing bad behavior when it comes to content creators. This is what he's doing. He's reinforcing that behavior that you should be able to say or, or, or make up stuff as we go along. You just be able to make it up. Doesn't matter. You could say whatever you want. I get freedom of speech. I'm all for freedom of speech, but I'm not for freedom of lying. I'm not for that. I'm not for you making up shit. I'm not for that either. Because now you now you're playing with people's livelihoods. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're doing. It's crazy, but let's keep it going. So act for your mind to start going to men fingering each other why does your mind go there nothing in this verse says that why is your mind going to men first you said cousin then he said brother why does your mind go to men fingering each other like what's up with that i started rhyming coping mechanism to lift up myself shit 
nigga fucking, nigga finger popping was, was uplifting him. I ain't gonna hold you. Talk to his lawyer. Oh, you should snitch on that nigga. That's my type of nigga. Catch my type of nigga. I won't be talking to a lawyer. I talk to the police, the DA. He go to jail. What are you talking to your lawyer? Told me not to be so hard on myself. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> yo, imagine telling your lawyer, yo, I'm so fucked up over my cousin finger fucking me when I was eight. <laughs> Bruh, chill out, man. Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> he was hard on me. Uh, oh, my God. Academics fans, are y'all proud of this? Is this like... Um but see, this is this is something that a lot of academics fans they cool with because they a lot not all of them because there are some ones who really give them a lot of pushback in his in his chat. I seen it. I was on his live a couple of times, and a lot of people was giving him a lot of pushback. So I think he has a mixed bag on his on his chat. But I think that he's so he's so into himself. He's so I would say narcissistic when it comes to himself. Like he's into himself that he doesn't even listen. He don't even care. And there are people who call him up and they call him out. And he talks to them. I will give him that. But for the most part, this is disgusting, man. Is this that fire to y'all? Is, is, is he podding right now? Again, my audience knows me. Like I will, I, I have pretty nuanced takes. I can agree, disagree with some things same person and not even look at them differently. I just can't agree with what they're, or disagree with what they're saying. But this is absolutely disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting. God, this is bad. This is bad, this is crazy. He has an aura. Yo, this nigga talking about his nigga, he's talking about his cousin like he's Duke Dennis. This is crazy. Yo, this is out of here. What's going on, bro? What's popping, bro? What's going on with this shit? Yo, he wasn't talking about his cousin. He was talking about his lawyer. He was talking about his lawyer. So first your mind goes to men fingering each other, and then it goes straight to Duke Dennis. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Oh, no, bro. Right. Congratulations. Made to be famous. Still, I feel uneasy. Damn, okay, all right. You know, I, I fuck with Kendrick still. I nigga really going through it. Water watching, live my life in nature, only things that relieve me. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know what that feels like. Getting your booty hole violated so much, you gotta watch the water for shit not to hurt. Oh my God, that shit sound crazy. Just got vigorously finger popped by, by, by y'all. Gotta stop drinking, act. Or don't stop drinking so much. You know, you gotta stop drinking so much. Homie, the only thing that could soothe your soul is watching the water. Mm, mm, mm. Put the cup down. Spirit guide, whisper in my ear. This nigga starts seeing ghosts. That's crazy. Did he touch you? I said, no, 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 no. They still didn't believe me. Brother said he got revenge. My mother's brother said he got revenge from my mother's face. Oh, shit, they slid for that nigga booty hole. That's crazy. That's, that's lit. I'm down with that. Now I'm down with that. Yeah, again, it's not what happened, but... Yet and still, this is the narrative that this guy wants to push. And again, he wants to start a narrative so this way he can say, ah, oh, something happened. And then everybody can believe him. And then when Drake comes out and says this in a song, it's magnified. Now people believe it because it came from him. It's crazy, man. Let's keep it going. Yo, chat, if y'all ever heard that somebody... Took my anus without my consent. Slide for me, gang. Slide, nigga. Imagine a nigga coming home. <sighs> to even joke about this, obviously, I, I think academics feels comfortable joking about this. He knows that this is not what Kendrick said in the song. So I think he's like, okay, well, that this obviously didn't happen, but I'm just going to be lighthearted about it. This is not really a lighthearted joke. This is like on dark humor, and it's almost not even humor. But let's say if it was true, why is this funny? And then, I don't, I don't know. This isn't funny. This isn't entertaining. And I'm not just saying this because Kendrick is my favorite rapper. This isn't comedy at all. And even someone who's a Drake super fan, if they were to hear this, I would expect them to say the same. Like, this is shameful, really, is the word. This is shameful. This is uh, academics, you're above this this type of commentary you are all right i'm gonna stop it there and i'm gonna talk about that
what he just said above the commentary. Now, actually, he's not above the commentary. He is the typical person who does these things for clicks and attention. Now, granted, academics do, he does do some things. He does do some, uh, uh, he goes around and he does, uh, you know, investigative journalism and stuff like that when he's on his stuff. He does do that. He does break down cases, not necessarily, necessarily saying that he's right or wrong, but I'm just saying what he does. He does do that. But at the same time, he also is a bad influence for people. And I know that sounds like high school-ish, but it's the truth. In this time period, you have to set an example and you have to lead by an example for certain people because you are in a position of power. You know what I'm saying? Whether you like it or not, you're in a position of power. And I think that he, he knows this and he takes full advantage of it because he don't know how to be a moral or good person. He don't. He could say whatever he want to say, but overall, he still has a teenager mentality. That's the reason why he does, says and does the things he does. That was uncalled for. He didn't have to do that, but he did it anyway because he knows that it's going to garner him some clicks, views, and people are going to keep talking. They're going to say, oh, yeah, academics are violating Kendrick, blah, 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 right? And it's going to be newsworthy to talk about because his name is synonymous in this whole uh, thing that's going on right now. And he has to keep his name sort of relevant. So what he do when it comes to Kendrick, he knows he can get under people's skin by saying some things that didn't happen. He knows he can do that. And what happens now you got people who don't like Kendrick automatically believes what he says. Not even he's not even counting, taking into consideration that 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 story that Kendrick told, whether it's true or not, let's just assume that it's true. That was people's lives, man. And you are making a joke out of it. And it's not funny. You know what I'm saying? And again, this is the reason why people don't get you, bro. That's the reason why right there. Because, and I know you probably don't care, but eventually it'll catch up with you. Because once people figure you out, the same thing happened to Drake. He got exposed. Once people see that you are just a person who is self-centered, yeah, people are going to cut you. They're going to cut you right off. But either way, man, you have yourself a good morning. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>